Hey y'all. I'm Jen Kundert, Independent Color Street Senior Director, and this is the long version of how to close a party. Log into the back office. Sign in. We're going to open this up. We're going to come over here to Parties, View, Open Parties. So I've got a party here. My husband is the host. Okay, party link. We can see that this is fully qualified right here from the landing screen. We can see that this is fully qualified. He's going to get free shipping, 10 high price items, and 25% hostess credit. Now, I'm going to go in here to manage party. I'm going to come down here. You can see that there are plenty of orders on this party, so it's qualified all the way around. Now, before I set party status to pending host items so that he can log in and claim his host rewards, okay, before I do that, I'm going to create another party. I'm going to create a booking, okay? So I'm going to book another party. This party is going to be called and we're going to start it today. I'm just going to change the time so that they match um, because generally then that just doesn't show. The close date is automatically inserted here. It is a 60 day window. So this party has to close within 60 days. Now I'm going to come down here and choose who will be hosting your party. Now I am going to search, but if I have a host or hostess who has not been a customer before or who has not hosted before, I could create a new one. Or if I am the hostess, me, the stylist, I could click this, I'm hosting the party. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to say I'm hosting the party. So it's going to eliminate some of the information that you need to be put, that you need to put in because you're already logged into your account. The info is there. If it is a virtual only party, that's also going to eliminate some of the information that you need to put in. Okay. But we're going to uncheck these because... Edie is going to be our hostess. So now I've selected my hostess. It is a virtual party. And that really is it. Date, time, party title. You can put a message here, but you do not have to. And we are booking it from the Happy Halloween party that Derek hosted. Now, please know that if you are selecting this, I'm hosting the party, stylists no longer are no longer eligible for booking credits. So in order to be eligible for a booking credit, you can't be a stylist. So Derek will be eligible for a booking credit on Edie's party, and then Edie will be eligible for booking credits on future parties, um, but I... Am not. So Derek is the previous host. Edie is the new hostess. We are creating that party and we are booking it from Derek's. Everything looks good. Create new party. Now that party is immediately going to show here in my party dashboard. Okay. We can see that it's not qualified yet because it's brand new. Fine. And now Derek's party is here. So again, I'm going to go here to manage party. You can create multiple bookings. So if Derek had multiple hostesses wanting to book from his party, uh, you can have, I think it might be a limit of three, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, I think he is only eligible to claim three booking credits from the one party but I suspect that you can actually create more than three parties because they may not all qualify for the booking credit. But I do believe that there is a limit of three for booking credits redeemed from a single party. Um, but I'm only mostly sure about that. So 
I'm here. I'm in Derek's party. You can see that it was booked from my party. But because I am a stylist, there's no booking credit to redeem when we're closing this party. So I, as the stylist, am logged into my virtual office. Okay. I'm looking at Derek's party. Now, there are two options for me now as the stylist. I can set it as pending host items so that he can log in through the host portal and claim his own, or I can create the host order myself by asking my host so I can ask Derek what he wants, okay? So here's how, I'm gonna show you both ways. So first, I will set it to pending host item. Okay, current party status, pending host order. Great, I'm gonna go back to show you this, view open parties. This is my party dashboard. So Edie's party is here. And this is here because it has not actually been closed yet. All right, it is still pending. So we are going to log me out. Now I'm gonna show you how a host or hostess logs in to the portal, the hostess portal, in order to redeem their own rewards. So I am here, hold on, my password saver is getting ahead of me. I am here at VO, so you're gonna send your hostess to vo.colorstreet.com, okay? It's taking me back here to the same place, all right. vo.colorstreet.com, that's where you send your hostess. Now they are going to log in to the virtual office with the same username and password that they created when they made their customer account. So Derek is my customer. So when he goes to my shopping website, he logs in as DL Kundert, and this is his password. Okay, so now, wait a minute. There, okay. He logs in, update password. He logs in here with his username and password. This, don't get confused, this is the retail customer facing website. So if he wants to update his information, he can do that here, okay? He can go back and look at his previous orders, all right? And he can do all that good stuff. He can change his address, payment methods, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There is actually a link here for him to go to the virtual office. Okay. Boom. He's still logged in. So it's rolled him right over here into the virtual office, vo.colorstreet.com to redeem his host benefits. Okay. But I'm going to show you how we did that not coming through the retail site. So we just did that through the retail site. We went to the retail site, then we clicked the little bar over here. Let's see if it'll let me go back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we clicked the button up here to take Derek from the retail site to the virtual office. Okay. So that's that. Now he can also log in directly to the virtual office vo.colorstreet.com and sign himself in there. It's going to take him to the exact same place. Takes him to his parties here. Okay. View all open parties. It is here. Now, this is Derek. This is not me, the stylist. This is my husband, Derek, who is logged in as a host to redeem his rewards. He can go to manage party. Now he can log in before it's time to redeem. I have marked it as the stylist. I've marked it as ready for him to redeem. But before that, he can still come in here. He can see the orders. He can see the website so that he can share that with his guests. And I think he can add um, customers and like send them an email when it, yeah. So it says, you've not invited anyone to this party yet. Click invite new guests below to invite your first guest. You can't, he cannot do that right here. It would be here because I've already marked it as pending host item. 
So he can't continue to invite because it's already marked that it's pending, it's going to be closed. Um, but if I had not already done that, he would be able to invite by email additional guests. Okay. So he can come right in here, create the host order for this party. Again, this is the host portal. And then it pulls up the website for him to pick what he wants. Okay. It shows his rewards up here, half price, 305, right? Okay, so let's just say that he wants, he just really, whoops, okay. Oh, like I clicked through all the way. All right, well, let's just say that he just really loves Butterfly Garden. So he wants 10 of those. Now I'm gonna come view my cart, Derek's cart, okay? He's got 11 Butterfly Garden. It's taking off the half price. It is taking off the credit, okay? Now we know that he still has way more credit than this. He has like 300 and some odd dollars there. Right now my total is still zero. It will allow me to continue to add items. Let's just see what, what uh, that totals up to. So he wants 20 Butterfly Garden, okay? This is the half price item. That's not gonna change because it's a certain amount that's you know coming off of um, the first however many, 10. Okay, so that's half of 10 items that's come off. The rest gets applied to the host credit. So now he's at 195. All right, well, he wants 30 Butterfly Garden. Now, half price has come off. 30 times 13 gives him his total. His total host credit has come off of here, 305.50. Okay, that's his 25%. And now he has a subtotal of 1950. He'll need to pay that difference. Okay. He can obviously choose whatever he wants. Okay. So here we go. This is just under the amount that he has in credit. But if he adds anything else, he'll have to pay the difference. So let's say that he just doesn't want to spend any more money. He's earned a ton. He just doesn't feel any need to spend another dollar. Okay, great. Totally fine. He's getting 28 sets of Butterfly Garden. That's pretty amazing, right? All right, so that's done. Check out. Now remember, we're logged in as Derek. We are the customer, okay? He's going to confirm his shipping, bar, 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 bar put in his billing information, all done, right, super, okay? If a host gets through all this thing and then changes their mind or they're waiting for something to come back in stock or whatever, okay, cancel this hostess order. So I'm canceling out of this so that I can go back and show you what it looks like when we redeem it as a stylist in the virtual office. All right, but we've just gone through what it looks like when Derek, the host, logs in and redeems his, oh, here's the add guest button, okay? So he could add guests to his party. He would need to put in their name, address, email, blah, 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 create the guest, it's gonna add them to his party. All right, he doesn't need to do that, he's already got plenty. Boom. Now, this is here, that should really show you everything you need. Don't ever click this. Nope, that's a big, nope, do not click that. Okay, this is everything he needs and has access to in order to close his own party as the host, okay? So we're logged in as Derek. Look at this, there's also a nice little convenient link up here for a host to say, hey, I can do this. I'm gonna become a stylist. Boom, it's gonna route him right over. It's not even gonna take him out of this. And because he's already logged in, I suspect that some of his info will already kind of carry over. All right, can't do that though. So this is this, this is the host side, all right? I'm gonna log out. So we are no longer logged in as Derek the host. We're gonna come back, we're gonna log in to the virtual office as me the stylist, okay, here I am. Now, I'm gonna go back to my parties. This is the new one we created. This is the one we're closing, okay. Manage part, you can go straight to this button that'll create the host order. 
Okay. Or you can go through the manage party tab. Oh, it took me into the manage party tab because I canceled that beginning order. So I'm going to walk through it one more time. Open parties. I'm going to manage party. Now I'm in the party screen. If I want to add another guest, add an existing customer, if I need the link, whatever it might be, okay? I suspect that because Derek logged in and started his order, but then canceled it, it took it out of pending status, which is why he was then able to add guests again, and I would be able to add guests again, blah, 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 okay? But now we're going to run through the scenario where my host doesn't want to log in and do their own order or for some reason they can't or whatever. All right. So I, again, this is me, the stylist. I, the stylist, I'm going to create the order. So we're going to come in here. I got a list of what he needs and we're going to just start putting them in the cart. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Two of these. Do, do, do. Where's my list? Mm -hmm. I should just do it in order so I don't get myself really confused. Okay. Do, 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 do. One of these. Actually, two of those. Got the Charleston. We need one at the plaza. Oops, there it is. One Windy City. One Mainly Mums. One Miami. One Giza. One Upper East Side. Oops. Okay. One London. Two New York Minute. A London Fog. Two Steel City, two Jewel of Mumbai, a Made in Milan. So I have more to add, but let's say that I want to check my progress, okay? View card. Here's all my items. I got my half price items that have come off, okay? I've only used 154 of my product credit. So I'm gonna return to catalog. Let me see. Got all my solids. Let's do, here we'll do some designs. Need my Mulans. I'm looking for, here they are, Interstellar, Southwest Dream, what else is on the list? Uh, let's see, Winwood, Tempe Vibes, it's probably getting me closer. Let's go look. I'm get my pen and mark off what I've uh, put on here. Do, do, do. Okay, half price items, 274. So we still got a little to use. Got all my solids. Find my list. 
going to return to catalog. Oh, I think I saw that uh, Hollywood Hills was back in stock. And that has, oops, no, it still says out of stock. Um, anytime you can stock up on retired shades that you know have been good sellers for you, you know, not trying to tell you what to do or anything, but uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think we need a few glitters. That's a pretty good problem to have when you have so much credit to use that you don't know which ones to get. I know I need at least one Shangri-La and a Vegas. And then check, 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 check. All right, I'm gonna just add a second Shangri-La. I can never have too many of those. I'm gonna go view my card again. I think I will have run over now. Yes, okay, I've got my all my half price items. I have my 25% uh, of party sales has come off. I have a 450 balance. I can handle that. Although remember, I am logged in as me, but I am closing the host order for Derek. Why does it have my name on there? I don't know. All right, well, never fear. Oh, I think that's just my autofill settings, okay? So we actually want to put in the or the address for Derek. If he was logged in as himself, it would do that on its own. Verify. Ship to this address. Oh, email. Oh, okay. Don't put no hyphens. There. All right. Warning, you're creating the hostess order for Happy Halloween. That's the name of the party. Party will be closed. Yes, yes. We know all of that. Okay. 478 for I don't even know how many cards I just got there cards how many um sets i just got there okay this is like when i i'm trying to talk to someone but the tv is also on and a mattress commercial comes on and i'm like yeah we had so much fun at the mattress because like my brain just melds all of the available information into one nonsensical jumble Okay, billing information. You are getting free shipping. The host is getting free shipping, so you may as well select priority. Uh, address, info, everything is there. The billing has my name on it because it happens to be my card. All the items are here. And over here and place your order. Do, 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 do. Okay, boom. Order history. Now remember, I'm logged in as me. Okay. So this is an older order that has shipped. 
Open orders will be here. It hasn't even processed in yet. That's why it's not here yet. It will come here though. Um, so that is all done. Now I'm going to show you. We're going to go back to open parties. All right. Edie's party is here. Derek's party is not because it is done. Boom, done, closed. Now, once this party reaches the minimums, then Derek will have a host credit to redeem from this party. Um, now, for it to for Derek to have a credit, this party actually has to go to 300. It has to be 150 in order to qualify for any host rewards and in order to create bookings from it. But in order to redeem a booking for the party from which this party was created, the new party must reach $300. So when all that happens, Derek will have a booking credit to use. So we're going to go back. We're going to log out of me. We're going to log back in here as Derek. And we're going to see that he has no more open parties because it is closed now. Closed party is here. Date, sales, host. We can go here to view all closed parties. And it will show him the details and stuff. But he's all done and his order is going to come next week. Back to closed parties. Uh, and that's basically it. Party dashboard. So, yeah. So that is creating a new, how to create a new party. We booked one, how to, how to create a booking. We created a booking. We closed one party. We looked at how to log into the host portal. And we looked at how to close a party as the stylist. Um, what else can I show you while we're here? Oh, I know what I can show you. I am going to go log back in as me. Sign in here. I'm going to show you a little virtual office hack, which we may have a different solution for in the future. But for right now, if you need to view or edit your customer's information, this is the only way I figured out how to do it for the moment. I'm going to manage party. Okay. I'm going to add existing customer, and then I'm going to pick a customer here. We're going to use Betty Buyer because she's one of my, like, random. I used it for a training video in the past, but she's still listed. So I'm going to come here. So now I've added her as a guest, okay? She's an existing customer, so I've added her here. Now I could go in here and create her order if she was part of this party, okay? Delete here doesn't delete her account. It just takes her, it just deletes her as a party guest. But what I'm actually going to click here is edit. So now I can come in here to Betty Buyer's info and I can, for example, update her information. Uh, I went to school in Charlottesville, so that is always, I hope no one actually lives at 123 Cherry Lane, because if they do, they probably get a bunch of junk mail, because that's my, like, default, use it as an example address. So, so sorry for whoever actually lives at 123 Cherry Lane. As far as I know, there is not a 123 Cherry Lane in Charlottesville. But if there is, they don't like me. Okay, so I can update her info, right? Update guest. I could change her phone number. I could adjust her email address, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So now her information has been updated here. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm done with that. So this gives you the warning. You sure you want to delete this guest? It doesn't change any orders. It doesn't change the customer record. It just removes them as a guest from this party, which I do want to do because Betty Buyer is not a real person. Okay. So I'm going to do that one more time. Now, if she's already out, I would have to refresh for it to, for it to come off. Okay. Her, uh, her stuff has been updated. So I'm going to just do it again. Betty Buyer here. We'll do Connie Consumer. We're going to add her as a guest. We're going to go back to Party Summary. We're going to click Edit. And we are going to adjust her information. So they are, like, down the street neighbors. Uh, 
one. Let's say that she's got a new cell phone. So I've updated her information. Update guest. Takes me back to the party list. Okay. So that's just a little like hack, life hack in the new virtual office for how to view and edit your customer info. Um, as far as viewing, these two that I pulled just didn't have any info to view. But let's see that I let's say I needed to check someone's info. All right. So let's let me find someone I know so that it's not a uh, security issue. Okay. Let's say that I need to I need an email address or a mailing address for Oh, all right. Well, we'll just use Jenny. Let's say that I need, I'm looking for Jenny's mailing address so that I can, I don't know, send her a coupon or send her a Christmas card. Okay. Add it. And that's going to show me her address, her email address and her phone number. Do not abuse customer information. Like just, that just shouldn't even need to be said. Um, but she is registered as my customer, so I have this information if I, like I said, want to send her a not spammy email or send her a coupon in the mail or send her a Christmas card. That lets me view and or edit her information. Okay, so I don't actually need to update this, so I'm just going to go back to party summary. All right. When I'm done with this, like I'm just using this party as a vehicle to check their info or edit their info, then I just come in here and delete. And then again, you'll have to refresh before they actually disappear. Okay, so that's virtual office hacks with Genevieve. Okay, y'all, I think that's it. I did warn you it was the long version, but I hope that it is helpful to you and if you have any questions, please let me know.